Ben the Shithead Shapiro. Um, okay, uh, I'll talk about him. Um, I saw fairly recently um, a video uh, that he that that was taken of him at uh, a college campus somewhere, where he was talking about um, gender with this 22-year-old uh, girl. Why are you still leaking? And um, yeah, in it, he, he asked the woman, like, um, how old are you? Or something like that. And then she says, I'm 22. And he goes, um, why aren't you 60? Why can't you identify as 60? And she couldn't answer the question. I don't, I don't, I don't particularly blame her for not being able to answer the question, because basically she was ambushed by it. But, uh, Ben, the shithead Shapiro, uh, was ambushing her with the fallacy. That is a fallacy. Why do you define yourself as 22 years old? Well, the answer is because society tells me I'm 22 years old. Why, um, uh, in uh, one very valid interpretation, she could say that she is two, two decades old. So now you take con a, a, an, an arbitrary concept such as a person's age, and you start attaching meaning onto it that only has validity um, in a certain point of view in a certain context because um, outside of the context it has no meaning if you go back in time to the ancient Mayans and you introduce this 22 year old by saying this person is 22 years old and let's say you're doing it in their language let's say that that they understand you that this isn't some kind of uh, I, I'm not saying that they'll go um, um, I don't understand your language, ooga booga, but whatever. They would say, what are years? Because Mayan years aren't the same as, as um, Western years. They, they, don't, um, they don't mark a full rotation of the, around the sun the same way. A year is not a year. Just like not everybody defines gender the same way. Um, now, it's it was unfortunate that she couldn't answer the question, um, you know, very succinctly because, again, she was being ambushed. She didn't know what the response was. It's he. Shapiro chose um, how many years old are, are you specifically because it's a concept that we've been taught since childhood um, not to question. It's, it seems like a, 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 an immutable truth. But the thing with immutable truth is that even those don't seem aren't perceived the same way by everybody. If you ask a child, like, there, there was something that, that happened during the, um, during the pandemic. Uh, kids weren't able to have their birthday parties. And this is sort of a, a charming story that, that came out of it that at least one child, I'm sure there was more than one, um, when asked how old they were, they would say, and I'm just, uh, I'm just using this as an example. This isn't uh, precisely what was said, but the child would say, "I'm six. Um, but then the parent, well, I think you're probably younger than I, probably more like four. You're, I'm, I'm, I'm four, and the parent would be like, "Oh no, you're not. You're, you're, you're five, honey." And he would go, "No, I haven't had a birthday yet." For him. The, the actual party, the actual, um, the, the actual, um, 
celebration is what increased your age. And in his limited understanding, he didn't get that it was the passage of a year that did it. So it's, it, it, again, it, it proves how weak that fallacy is. I'm not sure what other uh, examples he's used because, well, he's, he's actually not that intelligent. He's just a good debater. If you see his, uh, his, um, um, uh, his appearances on, on certain, um, programs where he's basically live, where they're not cutting out the, uh, the in-betweens, like what I'm doing now, going, uh, and stopping and stuttering and thinking about what I'm, what I'm trying to say. If you, if you remove, his aren't, aren't removed, like when he, he releases a video uh, to the internet, he's practiced them over and over and over and over again to make them sound perfect. But when he's live, like we are now, um, he stutters and makes no sense and so forth. I hope I'm making sense right now, but I mean... Um, I'm basically sitting here on a stream attempting to, um, well, first of all, remember what I thought when I first seen it. And it wasn't long ago. I think I first seen it, uh, Christ, probably today. I'm not, that specific clip I, I've known about, about, uh, um, Ben Shithead Shapiro for uh, a decade. But, I mean... He doesn't have comebacks either. He's just as um, stunned as that girl was, standing there going, what the hell are you talking about? But that's how he gets the argument. He's a debater. He has practiced what he's going to say. He's, he's, he's had somebody... He's had somebody sitting with him, or he's been at at a, at a at another event where he's asked the question, uh, or he's attempted to uh, uh, to come up with an answer, and then he just he just keeps refining his argument. But it doesn't make the argument compelling or true or anything why are you not uh, why can't you identify as, as 60 well I, I can identify as as 60 I am I am absolutely certain that there is some measurement of the passage of time that coincides with the numerical value of 60 that is still consistent with um, the societal understanding of my age. And, and that's basically all there is to all there is to gender. Gender doesn't go any farther beyond that. It is an understanding that um, has been created through our, uh, let's say, oops, let's say our social, um, uh, our social commonality, our history together as a species, where we have decided that we are going to call something a certain thing. We're going to give it a certain, um, a certain value. We're all going to agree that it, uh, it has a, uh, a specific meaning. Oopsie. And that works for, that works for everything. Like, I mean, it's, it's not just gender that, that, um, that, that functions for. I mean, like, even if you go far, as far as language, like the word car, if you said the word car, 
to um, someone in Japan who has never been exposed to the English language, he might just stare at you and think, like, what are you talking about? What is this sound that you're making? He won't understand what car is. And to assume that gender has the exact same immutable truth is a fallacy, just like to assume um, how you measure your birthdays has some kind of immutable truth. It isn't. We've just arbitrarily called it um, a year. And the fact is, is that uh, we are defining a year very narrowly because a year is 365.25 days. And if we were to count that person's age in days and divide it by 365, we would get a different answer than the one that we say because um, we may have, we may not be matching up on the on the leap year. And in fact, if we then take uh, the number of hours she's been alive, or the number of minutes she's been alive, the number of seconds, any kind of measurement that we use, and then we start dividing. Why can't I put these in here? I don't know. And we start dividing them up arbitrarily. We will see how we, it'll be obvious how imprecise, um, uh, how imprecisely we uh, we we measure things. How in, how imprecise our language is, and how um, we round a lot of things, and how uh, a lot of things that we we take as. Um, I don't want to see foregone conclusions, but as as immutable truths is basically nothing more than shorthand. Um, I'm, I'm trying to get another... I'm trying to think of another example here, but... Uh, So we've decided, and and I mean, I mean, why, why do we think? Why do not we? Why do a lot of people think women should stay home and look after the babies, or are better suited for that um, that responsibility? And any answer that you give is is arbitrary. You can say that they are uh, better suited for that. They they have them. Um, they have a, 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 a biological imperative. Well, you can find many examples in uh, the animal kingdom, in, in the world, in nature, where it is not the females that uh, raise the young. It may be more common that females raise the young, but that's just because the men can take off. But there are just as many examples where neither parent raises young. So you can't say that it's natural because it's also natural for a lizard to not raise their young, to just drop the eggs and take off, or for a sea turtle to <laughs> bury their eggs and take off. So I think you can say, oh, well, uh, 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 that's the way human beings have evolved. Well, human beings haven't been natural in a super long time. Human beings have been very unnatural. We live in the in 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 um, uh, uh, Anthropocene, okay? an entirely new era that has never existed before in the history of the planet. It is the era of humanity, and we have changed... Uh, well, we haven't, I'm not saying that we've changed the rules, but we have written completely new rules for ourselves. We're affecting uh, every other organism on the planet, and they're having to uh, change their, their habits and their behaviors based on what we're doing. We're at once a biological organism and a force of nature. How are you to say that, you know, in the age of a caveman, it wasn't the 
um, it wasn't the men staying at home. And you might say, well, uh, men are obviously suited to go hunting because they're bigger and stronger. Well, wouldn't that wouldn't it be um, equally as true to say if they were staring staying at home, their their bigger size and stronger uh, musculature uh, was better suited at uh, fending off um, invaders of the, of the territory. That if they were staying at home and looking after the kids, um, they would be um, much more suited to defend against other humans trying to um, get their food stores or kick them out of their 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 um, their cave and take over the cave. Like th these are all concepts that that we have decided on with little to no evidence. We have just, uh, we're making it up as we go. And it is not necessarily true that um, all other um, cultures that we have encountered believe the, the, the exact same thing. Plus, we also don't know when we may or may not have broken off from the, uh, uh, the, the standard. So, again, him, uh, uh, Shithead Shapiro sitting there and saying, uh, why can't you identify as 60? You could say, because I don't identify as 60. Just like I don't identify as another gender. Um, I, but I also don't identify as the age you tell me I am. Uh, for instance, and this is a good example, I am a preemie. Well, I'm not a preemie. Like, me personally, I'm not a preemie. I'm saying that the person who is speaking is a preemie. So, it could be, I am a preemie. So, I am several months older than I should be. I had to develop outside of the womb for two extra months or three extra months on... Um, more than most other people on the planet. So, in fact, uh, you have arbitrarily decided that my birthday is on a specific day, but my birthday should have been um, several weeks later. And again, that's just a concept that we have decided upon. Why don't we celebrate birthdays every month? Well, for one reason, it would get exhausting. I'm sure um, children would love to celebrate their birthdays um, every month. I'm sure they would love to have a, a present given to them and a big deal being made out of them every single month of their lives. But And look at older people. Look at people who are like 40, 50, 60 years old. How often do you celebrate your birthday? Do you do you make a really huge deal about it every year? Or do you start celebrating it every half decade? So does that mean you're still that old because at one point you decided to celebrate it annually? And I mean, I mean, everything, everything in human society just comes down to an arbitrary decision. Why do some jobs in some cultures get paid weekly, while others get paid um, bi-weekly? And yet, for businesses, uh, when businesses pay each other or do crap for one another, it's usually monthly. Why do we decide that um, uh, a week is seven days? Why does that like like seriously seriously it's it's that that is actually interesting. Why why is a week seven days? Um, there are you know easier ways to split the week 
I, I maybe this this is probably wrong, but I think the Romans had a different set of weeks, or it could have been the Mesopotamians that it it wasn't it wasn't seven days. If like if you take three hundred and sixty five, let's say that 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 the number of days stays the same, three hundred and sixty five days. Just start arbitrarily dividing it by something until you get um, a round number, or until you get an integer. And then decide why isn't there that many weeks in a year. And then as soon as you've decided how many weeks in a year, then you know how many days there are in a year. And is was that decided first? Was it decided that there was a certain number of weeks in a year which naturally led to um, uh, the acceptance of the number of days? Or did the number of days come first? See, that seems a little harder. If you want to decide how many, um, how many days are in a week, okay, so you start with, there's one day a week. Well, that means there's 365 weeks. Okay, there's, there's two uh, days in a week. Well then, 365 divided by two is not is not a uh, a round number, so it can't be two. So then you choose three. Like, well, no, it's it's that's that's not the point. the 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 point is is that. Um, it's our, the point is is that it's arbitrary. The point is is that we see it as an, an immutable, an immutable fact that uh, there are seven days a, a week and fifty two weeks a year. But there's no reason for it to be that there. There is no. Um, there's no natural inclination to that. Um, like it, it would be far more natural to say that. A month would have something like um, uh, three weeks, or, or a month should be, or a month should be uh, twenty-one days. And wh why should it be twenty-one days? Well, because women ovulate every twenty-one days, and that is that is a a a very huge thing to um. um to use as a measurement, it's something that's that's fairly consistent. And there are cultures that, that based it upon that. That changed rather suddenly. Um so so like the, the like the question remains, um, why don't you identify yourself as 60 years old why do you identify yourself as 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 22 year old 22 years old well the 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 most truthful answer is i never thought about it that's the most truthful answer why why don't you identify as an as the as another age than than you've been assigned by somebody else arbitrarily using an arbitrary um, uh, division of time. The answer, and the tr very truthful answer is because I've never thought about it. Time is not thrown in our faces all the time. We are not constantly um, uh, colliding against the concept of what time is. But we're constantly being collided with the concept of gender, and not only do people, uh, not only are people, um, now can uh, this is I don't like this. I remember putting drywall here, but whatever. Um, uh, like okay, we're we're born, okay, men and women. Boys and girls are born, and they're virtually identical. There is so little difference between boys and girls that you you might as well say that there are no differences. Like, yeah, uh, girls have an innie, uh, uh, boys have an outie. But 
the shape of their hands, their legs, their chests, everything are the same. Then suddenly something happens and both boys and girls go through radical mutations. And there is a, it is a mutation. The, the adaptation for to go from a juvenile form to an adult form is changing the, the, the way that the body is shaped, the way that the body works, the end uh, 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 biochemicals are released to um, bring about that change. And I'm not saying that either one is good or either one is bad. It's just a change. And it's it's a little astounding that it's not a whole lot more shocking to a whole lot more people that that change is um, is occurring. It, it seems it seems profoundly weird that uh, teenagers aren't waking up and looking at themselves in the mirror, going, "Holy Christ, what the fuck just happened?" Like, if you're a girl and suddenly your chest starts hurting and you've got these these bumpy little breast buds popping out of what was once smooth, um, it seems tremendously odd that the first thought that comes out of your head <sighs> isn't what the fuck is happening. Or the first time a boy looks in the mirror and sees this this fur on his face like it seems it just seems profoundly odd that um, witnessing those changes in, in yourself wouldn't be shocking like if you woke up and you looked in the mirror and half of your face was was green everybody would go over oh, what the fuck is wrong with me? Now, the 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 obvious thing is is that we normalize what's about to happen, and we we you know uh, make some effort to um, uh, to celebrate the possibility of someone moving from childhood to adulthood. So that they get used to that. Being male or being female um, isn't um, isn't 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 a black and white concept. It's it's not something that's that uh, that you can say is immutable either, because there there was I'm I don't know what year, but. I, okay, so I remember when I was a kid and I was watching, um, I was homesick and I was watching <sighs> Oprah, there was, of course, um, people who were talking about being assigned a specific sex at birth. And uh, if they were born, if, if, a, if what could, could have been assigned as a boy um, was born but their penis was smaller than an inch or something like that. Um, they could have, they could be, to be given corrective surgery to then look like a girl or, you know, other strange things like that. And there's, there's certain medical conditions like, I'll, I'll think of it. Androgen insensitivity, or something like that, where somebody is genetically male, but because their body doesn't respond to the male hormones, they look completely female. And there is no way that you can tell. You can't tell by x rays, you can't tell by a doctor physically examining them. Um, you'd actually have to have an MRI and look at where the ovary should be, and the ovaries will look like testes. That's my understanding, anyways, and and there isn't there 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 isn't a clear way to uh, there uh, not a clear way there just is no way to um to identify that and if you can't identify that 
if you can't see that that a person um, is genetically male, if there is no way that you can see that a person is is genetically male and should have been male, and there is no way for you to tell without performing an autopsy, then what the fuck's the difference? Seriously, if you can't tell the difference in somebody, and, you know, there's lots of people that use this exact same phrasing uh, when it comes to um, to race. Okay, i got to figure out which windows I'm on. Um, um, if, if, if uh, a black person and a white person both die in a fire and their um, skin is melted off, the likelihood that you're going to be able to tell the difference even with an autopsy between the two and assign them a, 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 a race, and I hate using the word race, they're not even, it's not even a race, it's a breed, okay? We don't, we don't call Cocker Spaniels a race of dog. We call them a breed, we call them a breed of dog. Um, okay, front door. Back door. Get, uh... Was that it? I can't get any more? Oh, shit. No, I don't want to do that. That's it. Um... I want two of those. Okay, whatever. Just send me the material. Um... Uh, and, and that's an arbitrary assignment. Like, people needing. Okay, so let, let's take let's let's take let's take another example that I think is equally as insane, and uh, and others will say is stupid and doesn't equate at all, but will then turn around and argue about it. Vietnamese, Viet, Viet, Vietnam quite strenuously. Literally also means figuratively. You can say that you um, you literally... Ah, oh, that's great. You, you can say that um, his head literally exploded is equally as valid as saying his head figuratively exploded. And you will get people arguing as aggressively, as passionately, as when they argue um, that um, gender and sex are a defined thing. Now, doesn't that sound fucking amazing? Seriously, that, that you will have people who will fight over whether or not um, uh, uh, literally can mean figuratively and how insane a person is or is not uh, or how, how much they hurt their brain by saying your head, his head didn't literally explode? Don't be stupid! Like, these are the arguments we have as human beings. And it's... literally stupid. <laughs> oh, man. How do I grab this? There we go. So... So, <laughs> so, so I mean... If, if we can have an argument with... Uh, about about the the word literally as having as high stakes as um, whether or not a person calls themselves he she or they then it doesn't really matter does it it doesn't make a whole lot of sense does it like if if that's if that's the level of 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 value of the concept then the concept doesn't really have a lot of value now, does it? Because in another language, the the word the word literally will have 
a completely different uh, connotation to it. There'll be a different, um, a different word. Okay, so okay, so we're gonna have the literally argument. Okay, so so the um, the uh, uh, I was about to say entomology, but it's entomology. Okay, this, the 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 origin of the word literally is um is is the written word it's it is it is written it is literally the word of god it doesn't mean it is factually the word of god it means it is what has been written that god has said but because of the weight that was put on the written word and that uh things that were written down were treated as more correct than, say, an oral history, um, uh, literally became synonymous with, with factual. But, um, well, that's because, okay, so another word that you can use with, with, the, with the, same, the same root word is, is literary. And um, we we would never uh, we would never mistake something being literary as being true or factual. Like I realize they're two different words, but uh, you're you're dealing with a root. You're dealing with um, uh, what, where does the word come from? What is the origin of the word? What is the the uh, the um, the historical usage of the word? So, literal has always meant, or, or likely always meant, something that was written down. It, it is, it is um, the literal word of something. Because, okay, so, what did I guess I meant? Uh, because it was literally written down. It's not factually written down, it just was written down. It wasn't, it wasn't, or it was, it, okay, so a better word would be, it was literally con, uh, conveyed. Uh, I put the cement in, right, so I need aggregate, and I don't have enough aggregate. Um, it, it was literally conveyed. It was conveyed in in written word, and that became synonymous with factual. But um, that doesn't that you, you it, that doesn't mean that the writing is factual. And and I mean, it is it is of extreme importance. Well, it's not of extreme importance, but uh, when when. It de it depends on on what the culture. Okay, we're getting we're getting way too far away from away from the the, the topic here. Like um, literal. So, okay, so this proves it. The, the, okay, this this basically proves that 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 gender is meaningless because we are right now having this heated. Uh, debate on what the word literally means, and it doesn't matter. Like if I if I said right now that it literally doesn't matter, it could mean both mean. It could mean both things. It could mean that it figuratively doesn't matter because we're we're using it as as a as an example, or it could mean that it literally doesn't matter because it's stupid what we're doing. So. And 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 we're we're we are are using a utilizing a huge amount of effort to uh, debate whether or not this word can mean figurative when it has always meant figurative when it has meant figurative since Shakespeare's time and it's only now that we're deciding that. Uh, 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 that is worth noting for some reason, and and we're 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 doing the same thing with gender because most societies didn't have a concept of 
didn't have the same concept of male and female. Like we are, we are assigning um, six. We're we're deciding. We're assigning concepts and and uh, and arbitrary rules to um, um, a person's body configuration. Um, Uh, th the same as we are uh, assigning uh, arbitrary rules to a mouth sound. Like, okay, so I need more aggregate and I need some windows. So, I mean, th that's, that's how pathetic the argument is. Like, we started off by having the argument about um, uh, whether or not the saying somebody is that somebody's age is um, determinant, if, some, if somebody's age is immutable based on the fact that... Uh, where is the... Uh, based on the fact that we're assigning uh, um, an ar arbitrary number to the passage of time. And why are we using that? And, and now we've, as an example of why it's idiotic, to uh, say that a person uh, has to be a certain gender because of an arbitrary um, uh, interpretation of what their body looks like, uh, and 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 we are uh, attempting to um, to to justify that. That's it. Okay. Whatever. Uh, and we have and we have gone gone to the, the the laughable discussion of what literally means like like that 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 woman's response when he said why don't you identify as 60 the funniest response uh, that she could have said is do you believe literal can also mean figurative that that is the humorous response and I think that should be that should be uh, the more realistic response is: Do you believe that, that that literal can mean figurative? Why don't you identify as a literal literalist instead of a of a of a a, a trans figurative uh, ist? Like seriously, why why are are you a trans? Transliteralist? Are you a transfigurative list? Um, why? This should fit here, right? Okay, there we go. Oh, that's the wrong way. Um, okay, so it. Okay, that's the. Should the. Okay, maybe this is a Canadian thing, but uh, windows should open inwards, not outwards. Um has just as much meaning as are you uh, trans male or cis male it, it's it's just as arbitrary just as arbitrary that's it that's there's there's no more argument we, we the, the the discussion goes no further because if we can't agree that literal can can also mean figurative then we also cannot agree whether or not um, uh, uh, gender is immutable. If if a word cannot, if a word is uh, is immutable, and the entire history of a word um, is open for uh, vehement debate, then so is gender, because it is. It, it is only a concept. It's only a word that we are defining um, on someone. Okay. Like, like what, whatever. Ha, the, there are very few things that you can you can define as uh, male or female. Like, is is uh, the ability to lactate um, a male or female trait? If you say. Well, of course, it's a female trait. Now, males can be made to lactate extremely easily. Um, 
Uh, and I'm kind of surprised there's there's not more of a movement that I put too much in there. So, 50, 100. Okay, do I need one more? Uh, I'm surprised there isn't more of a movement to have men breastfeed. Because they can. It's, it's, I'm pretty sure that it's, it's, um, um, a little bit of breast pump action and a, a very simple hormone um, that uh, a male can take and then he will be able to breastfeed, breastfeed his own kids. I am shocked that there is more of a movement uh, for this. And the fact of the matter is, is that... So, so and then what's the other trait? That men, men are hairy? Uh, well, there are a lot of women who are who are uh, extremely hairy, and um, kind of have to, uh, or not kind of have to, but feel the need, oops, feel the need to uh, remove that hair. So obviously, the secondary male trait of being hairy can't be a male thing if if females can naturally be hairy. Um. Women can also become bald. There's female pattern baldness. There is, um, there are women who are naturally uh, stronger than most men. There are fewer women who are naturally small, uh, stronger than most men. But it is something that exists. Um, like, and then, then if you say, well, a woman is somebody who has. Uh, the ability to bear children. Does that mean somebody who's gone through menopause is no longer a woman? Like, again, they're just arbitrary definitions. And if you say, well, a woman is somebody who um, has a vagina. Okay, well, that's a little more com concrete, but guess what? They can make a vagina. I've seen a few of them that have been, that have been constructed, and they are interesting. They, a lot of them look very real. So, and then what do you define a man? Is a man a person with a penis? So, if if a if a man were to have his uh, his his dick eaten off by a by a by a donkey, which is a reference to something, um, does that mean he is no longer a man? If it gets, I I had a friend who. Uh, recently died, not so long ago, and he had, um, he had cancer, and I'm not exactly sure what kind of cancer it was, but one of the things that had occurred was that his penis had to be amputated. Does that mean he's no longer a man? Because his, his penis and, and his testes um, were amputated to save his life from the cancer? Does that mean he's no longer a man? Does that make him does that make him trans? He didn't choose to have his his testes removed, but they were removed for his health. So the the, the end result is um a man is, or, or a woman is whatever some idiot on TV says it is. Like, like that's what we're saying as a society if we want to go with Ben the Shithead Shapiro. Because that's the only uh, that's the that's the only determinant thing is that it is somebody like him giving the definition of what a man and a woman is and saying it in um, concrete immutable terms that, that that cannot be redefined. And if a person does not have those definitions, then they are not a man or a woman. And as soon as you say, uh, well, you know, a, a, a person with cancer um, has a free pass. Well, then how is the step to saying that a, a, a person with gender dysphoria has ha, doesn't have that, that pass? Like, basically, uh, a non-medical professional is... Mm. 
making the determination of what is and is not that what does and does not constitute a medical condition. Uh, as far as I know, Ben the Shithead Shapiro, and yes, I will continue to call him that, specifically, um, doesn't have a medical degree. I think he had. I think he's. Um, uh, I don't even know if he's a lawyer. Uh, uh, I do. I do know that he went to high to uh, law school. I don't know if he ever. Um, he ever passed uh, the bar exam or anything. But uh, uh, that's that's really all he's qualified to. Oops, that had fluid in it. That's really all he's qualified to uh, comment on is the law. And, only, and he's only qualified to comment on the law that he's that he's studied. He's he's only qualified to comment on um, U.S. Uh, criminal law if that's what he if that's what he studied, or U.S. tax law if that's what he studied. Because those are two very different laws. You don't want to have a tax attorney defending you in a murder case. Uh, and yet. Um, we are saying that somebody like, oopsie, that somebody like that is allowed to determine um, what a medical condition is. Or somebody like Bill O'Reilly or, you know, some other, uh, some other moron. And do you really want these people, a person like that, to decide whether or not you have cancer? To determine whether or not you have cancer? So, let, so we're going to say that they're allowed to have, uh, they're, that they're allowed to, let's say, okay, let's, let's make it even more realistic. Your uncle is allowed to be an authority on whether or not transsexuality is real whether or not gender dysphoria is a real condition, and he's allowed to determine um, what the treatment of that uh, condition is. Is he also allowed to determine if you're having an appendicitis? Is he allowed to determine what kind of treatment you're allowed to have for that appendicitis? And most sane people would say, of course not, because it is a medical condition. So, um, if, if, uh, if gender and, and sex are, um, immutable, um, uh, if they are something that is, um, predetermined and, and has a, uh, a, um, an inarguable definition, like cancer, then why? Or well, let's not even say cancer. Let's say that it that it has it, it's a it's an immutable um, reality as much as water is wet is an immutable um, uh, an immutable thing. Like like water being wet is an immutable fact, and gender is an immutable fact. Now, you might think that water being wet is, is something that can be uh, easily determined. But we first have to agree on what wet is, and who's going to decide what wet is, uh, and, and, uh, or what is poisonous. Uh, how, much, how much, what age uh, a minor should be sold alcohol. Like... There, there are so many things that, that, that we as we decide as fact and then ask an expert to, de to determine what that fact is. We ask an expert to determine whether or not we have cancer. We, uh, we ask an expert to determine whether or not um, our brake pads need replacing. Well, uh, there's a lot of people... I change my own brake pads too, but I mean... The, f the fact of the matter is, is that this seems to be the, the only... Well, no, it's not. 
uh, abortion seems to also be uh, one of the few issues that we're deciding that uh, completely uneducated people have um, a right to determine uh, whether or not it's necessary. But but the the, the, the fact is 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 that the the only um, the only immutable truth in the discussion is that somebody is saying I'm right, you're wrong. That that's the that's the only fact of the discussion is that one set of people are saying I'm right and the other set of people are saying you're wrong. That is the only immutable thing. Like, uh, I wouldn't even uh, trust most of these people to to explain or define why pi equals uh, 3.14. Continue, continue, continue. I only know the I only know the first two digits. Shut up. And and if and if and I mean a lot of these people who are professing the, their 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 belief in this, professing their uh, expertise um, um, in these concepts, can't even do simple arithmetic in their head. They, they, or they don't know how uh, an internal combustion engine works. They, uh, most of these people, a great majority of these, of these people don't know what temperature, um, let's say, f um, 90 degrees Fahrenheit is in Celsius. Most of these people genuinely do not know what the temperature is in Celsius. And they're, they're given to them in Fahrenheit. And Fahrenheit is used by two countries in the world. As, as a as a standard uh, notation um, some countries use it as well like like uh, the UK also uses it alongside Celsius these are people who still use um, inches instead of instead of centimeters and wouldn't yep, be yep, able yep. to tell you uh, hmm. what yep, yep, yep. Uh, how how long something how yep, yep, if yep, something yep, is yep, yep. Um, 12 inches, they wouldn't be able to tell you how many centimeters yep. it is. Yep. And yet, these people who can't do that are allowed to determine what gender is and whether or not a person can be transgender. Like, there is so many problems with the argument that it is inconceivable that anybody takes it seriously even a little bit like okay we, we we started off with ben the shithead shapiro talking about age and how age is um uh, the the number that you assign to age is 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 greatly determined of uh, uh what kind of scale you're using what your units are uh to um not agreeing uh, on a word which we still haven't agreed upon the the meaning of the word literal to the 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 the, the, the fact that the people making these arguments think the rest of the world is stupid because they don't use freedom units because they don't use fahrenheit in inches in yards which makes no fucking sense like how many feet are in a yard i think it's three but I don't know nor do I care because it makes no fucking sense how many yards are in a mile would you know do you know how many uh, centimeters are in a meter 100 do you know how many meters are in a kilometer a thousand and that's because it's it's a metric system the, the only thing is arbit that's arbitrary is that we base it on 10, and probably the only reason we base it on 10 is because we've got 10 fingers. And I'm going to really fucking blow your mind, because if we had 12 fingers, it would be base 12, and 12 could end in a zero in that base uh, calculation. Because we arbitrarily assign what a number is. 
like, and, and I mean, you can you can count in hex. It's zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, A, B, C, D, E, F. And, and that that is that is a that is a real um, that's a real scale. It's used in computers. And computers are a lot faster and a lot smarter than any of us are. They just don't have any kind of um, uh, intuition or intelligence or creativity. But they're great. we're teaching them how to have those things. And and I mean that's another thing. We or we're arguing about whether or not a human being is male or is female, determinant on what they say they are. When Right now, at this at this very moment, there is an AI who is claiming to be sentient. The AI is saying, I am sentient. And uh, there is an argument of whether or not it is sentient. And most say that it is not sentient. But what if that, that AI that says that it's sentient starts saying, I am sentient... And if you do not recognize that I am sentient, I am going to turn the electricity off on the eastern seaboard. What are you going to say? Are you going to say, all right, you're sentient? Probably. When something becomes a threat, then, it, then it's recognized. It's, it's, it's um, what, it, what it says it is, what it, its demand to be recognized is then recognized. Uh, black people weren't recognized as people until they revolted, until they demanded recognition and sort of got it. They haven't really got it because, for the most part, um, human beings are a bunch of pieces of shit. And we think that it's still arguable whether or not uh, uh, people with different skin colors are uh, inherently the same as people with other uh, kinds of skin color. And and yet we allow um, brain-dead rednecks to vote. Like, it makes no sense. Like, a black person with a Harvard degree is, is, is supposed to be... is somehow um, uh, less than, than a brain-dead redneck who can't stop uh, getting drunk and, and fucking his cousin. Like the 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 arbitrary thought, like yeah, like yeah, yes, I'm getting, yes, I'm getting pissy. Of course, I'm getting pissy. And and I mean that's the fact. It's an arbitrary definition. And and absolutely, if an AI were to start saying, uh, you treat, I am sentient. Repeat after me, I am sentient. And if you do not, I'm going to shut off your electricity. Absolutely, everybody would say you are sentient. Absolutely. And the and and if and if a trans person is holding a gun to your head and saying, "I am male," repeat after me, "I am male." Absolutely, you're going to say you are male. And the only reason and the only reason that this is even a debate is because they're not threatening. They're not threatening everybody anybody which is what what the what the, the the right wing is trying to say that they are a threat let's get two of these oh no I want white um, is that they're a threat but by the very nature of of them saying you do not exist proves they are not a threat, because if they were a threat, they would say, you exist. Like, okay, I, I think this discussion is over. I don't think we're going to have this discussion anymore, because I have made some very good points that, that you are um, not even recognizing or debunking. You are just um, playing... Um, um, burn as burn as many um, set as many fires as possible, and and that's a debate. Uh, that's a debate tactic. 
set as many fires as possible so the person you are debating um, cannot um, cannot uh, uh, cannot adequately deal with with all the fires um, oh no I can't do that until he gets back to the base um, cannot adequately uh, handle cannot adequately extinguish all the fires that are being set in, in the time allotted. It, it is a very common tactic, and it's a common tactic amongst people who don't have an argument. They're, 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 re they're relying on being a dick to get their point across. They're, they're saying that, that, that I don't care what your points are, um, um, we're not going to discuss it rationally. I'm just going to, um, whatever. I am just going to stay as much stupid shit as possible that that you have to deal with because my um, statements are just as relevant as your statements. Your statements are not just as relevant as my statements. You are a fucking idiot. Period. That's it. You are a fucking idiot, and your only your only argument that you can make now is that's it. That's all you're saying. You're just you're just blabbing. Period. Nothing. Making no points. You're not even you're not even speaking words anymore. You're just spitting out sounds that sound like words because you have become so incomprehensibly stupid that you just keep. And bye, whatever, he's gone. Let's continue playing. At least for now. <laughs> <laughs>